Good morning, students. Welcome to the tenth part of coordinate geometry. In this part, we will discuss how to find the coordinates of midpoint of a line segment join the given two points. We have already seen how to find the point which divides the line segment in the given ratio. Now, as you know, there are many number of points, or actually we can say infinite number of points on any given line segment, and each of these points divides the given line segment in a specific ratio one may divide in the ratio 10 is to 11 or the other may divide in the ratio 1 is to 2 or it may divide in the ratio 5 is to 7 but among all these now we have to discuss a special case how to find the coordinates of the midpoint of a given line segment midpoint is a very very important for us because we discuss the cases of uh, bisection or diagonals bisect each other in somewhere. So these are the cases, special cases. We'll discuss uh, where we the, the problems involve finding the midpoint of a line segment. So let us find the coordinates of midpoint of a given line segment. Um, now let us take the case where we have discussed the case of three students. Actually, we in the other part we are discussing about four children. Now here we have three children among them: Sharon, Mary, and Lakshmi. Now just you pause this video for a while. And tell me who is exactly standing in the middle of the line segment. It's so simple just by looking at it you can tell. Now I'll take each case individually. Let us take the case of Charan here. Now is he standing in the middle of the line segment AB? No, it's no. Why, why is he not? You are saying that he is not standing in the middle of the line segment. Because it's not in the middle. Now when you say, when you look at this, his distance actually from A is smaller when compared to his distance from the point B. In other words, he is nearer to A than to B. So he is not in the middle of the line segment. Now we will take the other case. Now look at this girl Mary. Now what about the distances, distance of this girl from point A and from point B? Now she is actually at a point where her distance from A and her distance from B are looking like they are equal. So you can say that she is actually standing in the middle of the line segment. Let us take the other case where we have the other girl. Now she, we have here Lakshmi. Now if you observe, she is actually far from A than from B. So, so she, is a, she is also not standing in the middle. So basically when you have to say something is in the middle of a line segment, we say that it is in the middle when a point is at equal distance from both the ends. So here you, if you take the case of Mary, the distance of this girl from A and the distance of this girl from B are actually equal. So we can say that she is standing exactly in the middle of the line segment. So we say that a point is in the middle of the line segment when the distance of the point from both the ends are equal. So that is if the point is P, distance from A to P and distance from B to P should be equal. Then only we say that the point is exactly in the middle of the line segment. Let us take another case where you have a line segment AB and I have taken three points P, Q and R. Now let us write the ratios relating to this now. Actually, we will take each point one by one. Now what is the ratio that P is dividing the line segment AB? You can count the number of points, number of units here, 1, 2, 3. And from P to B, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So we can say that P is dividing the line segment AB in the ratio 3 is to 9. So if you can cancel any table, you can cancel. When we simplify 3 is to 9, you will get 1 is to 3. Now let us take the other case where we have a point Q. Now what is the ratio in which Q is dividing the line segment AB. Just you pause this video for a while, then write down the ratio. So to write down the ratio, as you know, you have to count the number of units uh, for to the right of Q and to the left of Q. So here you can say that you can clearly see it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And to the right of Q, it, that is from Q to B, it is actually 4 units. Now the ratio is 8 is to 4. We can cancel 4 as a common factor. So it will be 2 is to 1. So, when you have a point on a line segment, each point divides the given line segment in a specific ratio. We have already seen this 
when we derived the formula for section formula. Now, let us take the case of the third point which is R. Now, let us count the number of units from A to R and from B to R. How many units are there from A to R? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. From B to R, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, you can say that R is dividing the line segment in the ratio 6 is 2, 6. 6 is a common factor for both the terms in the ratio. So, it is actually 1 is 2, 1. This is the important thing that you all have to remember. When you have a point which is exactly in the middle of a given line segment, it is at equal distance from both the ends. Here, R is at equal distance from both A and B. That means AR and BR should be equal. Then only we say that R is in the mid R is in the middle of the line segment. That is R is the midpoint. And one more thing that you have to remember is here we have taken the ratios. We have taken the ratio in which P divided the line segment AB and here we have taken the ratio in which R is dividing the line segment AB. Now what is the ratio in which R is dividing the given line segment? 1 is 2. 1. You have to keep this point in your mind. Midpoint of a line segment divides that particular line segment in the ratio 1 is 2, 1. So this is what we need. This is the important thing here. So you have a point which is exactly in the middle of a given line segment. Then that point divides the line segment in the ratio 1 is to 1. This is what we are going to use now to derive the coordinates of midpoint. As we know, when you have a line segment AB whose coordinates are x1, y1 and x2, y2, to calculate the coordinates of a point, which is dividing it in the ratio m1 is to m2. What is the formula? I already asked you to practice this formula. You already practiced this so many times. So the formula is m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2. And the y coordinate is m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2. Using this formula, we have to derive the coordinates of the midpoint of a line segment because midpoint is a special case of this formula. Just we have seen midpoint divides the given line segment in, in what ratio? Yeah, it is 1 is 2, 1. So in this formula, wherever you find M1, you have to substitute that with 1. And in place of M2 also, you have to write 1. It's as simple as that. It's very simple. Then you will get the coordinates of midpoint. So substitute M1 and M2 by 1 and 1. So if you write the values here, let us see what we get. So in place of M1, we have to write 1. So M1 X2 becomes 1 into X2 plus again M2 is also 1. So it is 1 into X1 divided by M1 plus M2. So this is 1 plus 1. Both are equal. Now then here also 1 into Y2 plus again 1 into Y1 divided by 1 plus 1. So actually when you multiply a number with 1, you will always get the same number. So 1 into x2 is x2 and again 1 into x1 is x1. So it is x2 plus x1 divided by 1 plus 1 is 2. And here also you will get y2 plus y1 by 2. So to make it a little ordered, I will write x2 plus x1 as x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2. This formula is not at all new to you. Suppose you have two values a and b and you want to find the average of these two. You have to add the values and make it into half. So that means a plus b by 2. Here we are also using the same thing. Average of x coordinates x1 plus x2 by 2 and we are taking the average or mean of the y coordinates y1 plus y2 by 2. So to get the x coordinate of the midpoint, add the two x coordinates of the line segment at the both ends and make it half and add the both y coordinates and make it into half. It's as simple as that. So midpoint of line segment joining A x1 y1 and B x2 y2 is x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2. It's very simple to remember. Now let us solve a problem then you can understand this easily. So find the line midpoint of a line segment joining A 3 5 and B 6 7. So let us write the values here. They are given points are 3 5 and 6 7. So this is x1 y1 and this is x2 y2. What are the coordinates of midpoint? Exactly x1 plus x2 by 2 y1 plus y2 by 2, x1 plus x2, this is 3 plus 6 by 2, 
y1 plus y2 is 5 plus minus 7 by 2. So then you'll have this 3 plus 6 is 9 by 2, 5 minus 7 is minus 2 by 2. So if we can cancel this denominator in the numerator, you can cancel, otherwise you can leave it as it is. Because uh, this is an odd number, you cannot cancel in 2, but you can cancel here. 2 by 2 is 1, but it is minus 2. So the midpoint of the line segment is my 9 by 2 and minus 1. It is very simple to calculate the midpoint. Now, we have an important application of this formula, that is the coordinates of midpoint, to quadrilaterals. Let us have a look at this. Prove that the quadrilateral formed by A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. We have actually done this problem using the distance formula. There you calculated the four sides. If you get two pairs of opposite sides equal, then it is a quadrilateral. Instead of doing that lengthy procedure, we can follow this very easily. So I have taken a parallelogram ABCD here. Now we know that a very important property of parallelogram is when you draw the diagonals here, suppose the intersecting point is 4, these diagonals actually bisect each other. This is a very important property of parallelogram. That means diagonal DB bisects AC and also diagonal AC bisects diagonal BD. This is, in other words, you can say that what you have to remember is mid, what is the midpoint of AC here? O. Then what is the midpoint of BD? That also is O. So to prove that the given quadrilateral is a parallelogram, what you have to prove is, you have to prove that their midpoints are equal. The diagonals have the same midpoint. You have to find midpoints of both the diagonals. Then if you get the same value, then that parallel, that quadrilateral becomes a parallelogram. Here I have calculated the midpoint of AC. You remember, you have to find the midpoints of diagonals only. So I have taken A and C. As usual, x1 plus x2 by 2, y1 plus y2 by 2, it's as simple as that. So here, 9 plus 4, 13 by 2, 1 plus 7, 8 by 2, it is 4. Just by looking at the values itself, you can tell the mid value, midpoint. It's not that difficult. Now let us find the midpoint of the diagonal BD. Again, 10 plus 3, 13 by 2, 4 plus 4, 8 by 2. So here we have got the same midpoint. So the midpoints of the diagonals AC and midpoint of diagonal BD are equal. This means ABCD is a parallelogram. It's as simple as that. So, when, so whenever you are given four vertices or four points and you are asked to prove that it's a parallelogram, you just calculate the midpoints of the diagonals. So calculate the midpoint of first diagonal and calculate the midpoint of second diagonal. You will get both. Whenever you get these two values the same, that means the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. It's very simple. So this is an application of midpoint, right? So to calculate the midpoint of a given line segment, it's simply x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2. So this is the assignment for today. Here I have given four problems. Two problems involving that you have to prove it's a parallelogram. So that you have to find the midpoints of both the diagonals here. And here also the same procedure. If you get uh, uh, both midpoints equal, that means diagonals have the same midpoint, then the figures are parallelograms. Here, this is more, it's a very much simpler this. What you have to find is just you have to find the midpoint, that's all. Using the midpoint formula, you calculate the midpoints. So, uh, you practice these problems, you solve these four problems and post to me. This is a very, very important concept because it has many applications in coordinate geometry and in regular geometry problems also. So this is how you calculate the midpoints of midpoint of a given line segment when the two endpoints of a line segment are given x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2. So this is how you can calculate.